Hello folks, how are you all doing today? What I'm going to be doing today is turning another pen. Uh, one of my subscribers sent me a couple of pen blanks. Uh, his first flip pour resin pen blank and uh, he kindly sent me a couple to uh, try out so I'm going to turn one today. I'll just show you the blank. Got some nice colours in there. You can just make that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it using uh, Axminster European Pen Style Kit, which is that one. Now with this one, you get two brass tubes with it, but one brass tube is longer than the other. So one thing I don't think they tell you on the website is which way around the tubes go, or some people do get confused by which way the tubes go. Now the first one of these I turned I got confused and I put the long tube at the front and the short tube at the back. The long tube, the short end being the nib end, no. The longest brass tube goes at the back because the twist mechanism otherwise you have to press it right inside past the mark on the uh, brass tube so as you can see there's probably a six millimeter difference in the tubes and the lengths so if you do make one of the European style pen kits the long tube goes at the back but the rest of this video now is going to be all in high speed you've all seen pen making before uh, and these use different bushes on the mandrel to the normal slim lines you have to buy the extra bushes to use these ones so you get a pretty much standard 7mm bush and then you get some slightly bigger bushes which I'll show you when I put them on the mandrel how they go but I'm just going to cut the blank in half now I'll glue the tubes in and then it's going to be high speed from that on Right, I've glued the tubes in and I've flattened the ends off. I'm going to put the pen blanks onto the mandrel now. With these European style pen kits, you do get a different uh, bushing set. So you get a really small one which goes at the nib end. 
So I'll put that one on first. Then I've got my shortest blank. Then that one goes on. Then you've got this one, which has got a piece what slides over it. You put the thickest end towards the top of the small blank. So that floating bush can float on and off. Then you get your other largest blank and place that on. And then you get another big bush for on the end where the cap goes. And then you just put them on your on your mandrel and tighten it up. Line the blanks up on the mandrel. Tighten it down. And then off you go. Now also with the European style pen kicks, on the top longest blank in the middle, there's a gold spacer what goes on. You've got to put a five millimeter cutout section on it so that the sliding bush will fit over it. It'll all come apparent when I start doing it.
that's the end of this little video now. Um, I'll actually put some stills up after the video to try and capture the beauty of the pen because I don't think the light, what I'm showing it yeah in here, will actually do the pen justice. The colours in it are absolutely fantastic and the patterning These uh, European pen kits, they really are nice quality kits compared to the uh, basic slimline kits. And they're not much more expensive to buy than uh, the slimlines. That they might be only 50 or 60 pence dearer. But they do make a nicer looking pen. Um, but anyway, thank you to Mick for sending me the uh, pen blanks. Uh, I told you I was going to make a video with one of them and uh, there's the one I've done the video of so thank you again Mick for sending them I uh, really appreciate it so if you'd like to leave me a comment leave me a comment in the section down below all my social media links are in the description down below uh, and I think that's it for this week so thanks for watching mate and See you again soon.